All right, guys, back here at the uh, Ham Radio Blue LED conversion. Um, so this is the 12 volt LED that I showed you before, and I've been using some 240 grit sandpaper to kind of uh, rough it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but I've roughened this up a little bit. My thing puts out about 9.6 volts. I just measured it. Uh, all different leads, so that's what the supply voltage is. Even though I was told it was 11 volts, but that's not what showed up at the meter, so. Um, I mean, it also has like an adjustable dimmer. I mean, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But let me show you, turn the light off here. So I was thinking I was going to put it in sideways like that. If you can see this, I know before it was kind of bright when I looked at the other videos. Um, but here is the LED. And if you can see that. Put this in a way that's not going to jack up my LED here. So since I've sanded it, it's a lot more. I'm going to have it so it's as close as possible. I'm going to mess with it, you know, when I get on the board. But yeah, as you can see, it's a lot more even to them being sanded. And at the same, so if I had it flat, straight this way, it would leave me a a spot. Whereas I want it to be more of an even tone. So. I think that's pretty even. It's not right on it, but I mean, it's probably never going to be perfect. But the main thing is either I got to defuse it more, or I got to keep it away from the thing in there, far out, as possible. All right, guys. So the next step is I'm going to get the lights on the board and fire it up, and I'll keep on sanding these things down till they're as even tone as possible. So we will see. Alright guys, it's probably bright for the camera. I don't think we'll probably even pick that up. I know the last video was pretty bright. I don't know if that will even pick it up or not. And you gotta be careful. Oh shit. Oh, that's in the pink plate. That's a yellow plate. Alright, let's see. If I turn the light on. It's not soldering, obviously. And this is not going to be the final. Got to be careful. <laughs> Alright, I'm keep on playing with it. Alright. You're watching me? Okay, yeah, look at the... Uh, I don't forget me put the lights on here, extra lights. Uh, but there is little... On this little... Thing right here, there's little tabs that I can probably pull off. I don't think I'm gonna get all these pins aligned as I get the LCD back in there. I mean, this is not gonna be perfect. I mean, I mean I'm doing this for fun, I don't do this for a living, I don't fix radios for a living at least. Um, so I'm gonna pop these little pins off that way I don't have to line them up. I can get this back on there and then I, I can test it better to see how I like the lights. So, yeah, there is a way to pop these off, which is cool. My things on here, and I saw that earlier. I had it. I did it earlier. Oh, it's kind of glued on there. Well, at least I had one that popped off on its own. Maybe it's glued. Alright, well, I'll try to get them off. We'll see. Alright, guys. Man, I can't believe I got that LCD back on there. I know it looks like shit. You can see spots everywhere, but actually at this point, man, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get this radio back together. I was like, man, I was like, dude. <laughs> Game over for this thing. But, uh, um, wow. I got it kind of going. So, I mean, yeah, I don't like the spots. I really can't mess with them now because I got the LCD put back in there. So, but I'm going to do this too, but... Um, if there's a way you can do it without taking the LCD off, I mean, that's probably the route that I would go because this is just brutal. I mean, I spent hours getting the thing off and back on, so. Um, yeah, I mean, not, I mean, I guess I needed brighter ones, I guess. I don't know. So, I mean, this probably won't look so bad when it's dark, but, um, 
just look terrible, I guess. Well, it does, I don't know. It's sort of annoying, but... Um, at least I could see it. I mean, the LCD works. I was... Dude, I, I didn't know, so... Like, it was just soldering these things in the back end, man. One at a time. Um, see, that actually helps me. But, yeah, dude, it's a serious, serious nightmare. So... Alright, that's next, but... Man... Actually, I noticed like, there, there, this is the, the guy who done a lot of mods this radio. I saw the like a couple cut resistors in this thing, and I don't know if I did that on accident or if it was actually done on purpose. So, don't know. All right, so it's gonna like I said, it's gonna be a miracle if I get this thing back together and it works. <laughs> All right, we'll see. All right, guys. So I have this back on my desk. I don't know if you've seen that the quad monitors. Um, kind of messy on my desk, um, but this is actually where my radio goes, so I can play with it. Um, I think eventually I'm going to get a smaller radio, because that thing's pretty big. So I might get, like, uh, might look, look, you look at the, uh, Yesu uh, 450D, or maybe even that, um, I mean, I don't want an expensive radio, uh, just because I'm not totally into the hobby yet, but, what's it called, uh, what's the other one called, the, uh, Alenco DX... Eight, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called, but let me show you this. Kind of sucks. <laughs> um. So I don't. I mean, I, I don't know if this camera doesn't pick up that thing very well. But this is kind of blue. You can see where the actual it's not lit up. It's because of the way the LED. That's the back of the LEDs. So at the back of the LED, you get that that bright spot. So if I had to do it again, I'd, I'd probably use different LEDs. But it, to me, it was like a miracle that I even got this thing back together. And it actually works. Just because I thought for, there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get that. It literally took me about an hour and a half, two hours to get the LED or the I mean the LCD back on there. So yeah, I mean it's blue. I mean I could probably cha change the background tabs, and that's pretty easy to get to, like the paper strip. But um, yeah, I mean I guess it looks all right. I mean it's not. This is my first starter radio, so. Hopefully they never have to change them, I mean, but they look kind of do the. I don't know, they look all right. I don't know. But it's my first time I've ever done that, so... All right, cool.